of all the tiaras. Yes, they're tiara ired. <laughs> wow, thanks, Bill. <laughs> yep, a West Hollywood bar has announced it's banning all bachelorette parties until same sex couples are allowed to get married as well. The Abbey calls the parties an offensive heterosexual tradition that rubs marriage inequality in everyone's face, and you don't want that at a gay bar. Explains the Sassy Saloon's founder, quote, Every Friday and Saturday night, we're flooded with requests from straight girls in penis hats who want to ogle our go-go's, dance with the gays, and celebrate their pending nuptials. Nuptials? <laughs> they are completely unaware that the people around them are legally prohibited from getting married. Let's go live to the recently engaged Mandy Jenkins, whose gaggle of girlfriends were denied entrance yesterday for her reaction. What do you think of all this, Mandy? He mm. likes to party all the time. <laughs> yes. He really does. Hey, Nikki, the bar calls bachelorette parties, as I said, an offensive heterosexual tradition. It's hard to argue with that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I never thought I'd say that something good came out of all this marriage inequality thing. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> I, I think every bar should ban them. Uh -huh. I'm tired of it being rubbed in my face. Right. That I'm, yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, this is great. Yeah. No, I, I, I kind of agree with you. Greg. I've never been to the Abbey several times, so I have no idea that it's on the corner of Santa Monica and Robertson or that they have a delightful back patio. But do they have a point or are they just kind of taking their balls and going home? I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. I've uh, only walked by there and they do put the Ab in Abbey. Everybody Absolutely. there is in great shape. Yeah. You know, I, I feel that uh, you, can, you, can, you can focus on bachelorette parties and make fun of them, but the fact is all homogeneous groups or homogenous groups, is that how you say it? Either way. Are awful. When there are a lot of guys in a group, when there are a lot of girls in a group, when there are a lot of gay guys in a group, when there's a lot of kids on a bus, it, nothing good comes from it. Uh, right. You have to have some heterogeneous, is that the word? Sure. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't. But anyway, what I'm saying is anytime there are like-minded people together, there's trouble. That's what I'm yeah. saying. No, I agree with you. Get and Tom, I, I think, think that is the unspoken truth here. Uh, when... Uh, I feel bad now because my question to you was exactly what Greg just said. So you know what? I'm well, gonna, I'm Greg, gonna, I'm I, go I think I can. Script. I can expound on that point. Tom, please expound on Greg's point. Greg is a heterogeneous. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I think. I don't think you know what expound means. <laughs> Listen, gays, you should change your name to mirthlesses. What are they complaining about? <laughs> their their constituency is is straight women in penis hats. That's who loves gays. Straight women in penis hats. They. I, first of all, I don't want them in comedy clubs anymore. Yeah. That, that's, you know, let them oh, the be in the game. Yeah. They are the worst in comedy clubs. Yeah. Yes, they're self-absorbed. They sit around and they, they, uh, they, they trade the penises. They're opening gifts while you're trying to <laughs> do comedy. Yeah. Yeah. I want them out of my club. Yes. They're perfect for gay clubs. <laughs> they should welcome them. And I bet you anything, all those bachelorette parties, they're all pro-gay marriage. Stop complaining about that. They're oblivious to, yes, they're oblivious to the fact that the, that, uh, the, that the gays around them can't marry, but they're oblivious to everything. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hey, Bill, as someone who's always a bridesmaid and never a bride, how do you feel about this? Uh, pensive. Yeah. Um, I would say that I agree with Mr. Shalou. It's business. They're going to throw, throw around a lot of drunken money. And how is a gay bar in West Hollywood going to make any cash if they get rid of the women? I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, that's so true. Especially in that area. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> Butch. Yeah. <laughs> they could just get money from gay people going to the gay bar. I didn't consider that. Yeah. I will say I get why they go there, though. Uh, I mean, we've seen them, particularly in Midtown, because that seems to be where the bachelorette parties thrive and grow and grab more bachelorettes and become this all-encompassing organism. Uh, they, they, one of the things I've seen is that they, they take these lifesavers and they glue them onto their T-shirt, and then it says, bite me. And they get guys in the bar to bite off the lifesavers. Now, at about 12 midnight, that's all right. By 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., they're begging for something awful to happen to them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't blame the tourists. And then, I blame dudes. You know, by, like, 4.30 a.m., when you're getting ready to think about leaving, it's even worse. Well, at that time, I want something sugary. Yeah, yeah but you know, you know what it is? <laughs> I'm actually tired of the whole idea, and it's not, I don't know if you call it slumming, but the idea of let's go somewhere different because it's cool. Yeah. Oh, let's all go together to a gay bar. Well, that's I the think, kind of thing. It's kind yeah. of like, like what, you're not going to a zoo. Yeah, exactly. You that's know? weird. Yeah. yeah. So that's our plans are canceled for the season? No, 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 no. We're still going. We're still going yeah. after uh, the show. Just quick, hey. quickly, Greg, uh, should Obama be impeached over this? Uh, I defer that to Tom because he uh, had something. Look, I have a good point to make. Yeah. This is going to cut into, too. well, look, with all this mainstreaming of gay culture, it's going to cut into the gay uh, entrepreneurs mm. because the whole idea of having a gay bar, a gay cruise, once it's all mainstream and everybody's all equal, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to cut into the specialized gay market, is it not? 
I don't, I, don't think it, I don't think it is. No? You can't yeah. argue with two fingers. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. not going to happen. I'm going to agree. So, got a comment on the show? Maybe about Tom's pointing? Email us. It's redeye at foxnews.com. And leave a voicemail on what's his name's direct line called 212-462-5050. Still to come, the halftime report from Mike Baker.